ideal gas laws down here. Get rid of the PV equals NRT. And I said this is the only one that you really need to know. So, if, if temperature is not mentioned or the amount of moles, which none of the problems had the amount of materials mentioned, you can get rid of the temperature and that. And so you're just left with PV, which gives you Boyle's Law um, that way. That's why you only need this one. If you eliminate what you don't need, it gives you the equation that you can use. And once again, PV equals NRT. We never have the amount of material until we get to these type of problems, so that's automatically eliminated. If they don't talk about pressure, then you're left with V equals RT, and we have to get the R by itself, so it's V over T, and then you set that equal to itself. All right. So that's what we mean by you only need to know one equation. So the thing with um, ideal gas law is you need to know the number of moles of something. But a lot of times they're going to ask you for the mass of something or the molar mass of something. And we're going to do some examples of those problems today. Um, so N is in PV equals NRT, and that's going to come in handy, but sometimes they're going to ask you to go one step further and get the mass of something or the molar mass of something. And so we'll see that as we do problems today. And the molar mass and mass stuff we've done already. Mass is molar mass divided by the number of moles. Molar mass is mass divided by moles. So you've done a lot of this already. One thing I do want to mention before our three musketeers leave is there's an Ed puzzle posted that has to be done by Friday. I forgot to post it last week, but it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes to do it. It's not very long. Um, don't forget you need to be signed into your school email. You go to Edpuzzle, you punch the orange button, and you're in. Otherwise, you won't see it. So let's look at some problems here. So pull out these problems from last week. You all should have a copy of them. They're on the two-page sheet. And I'll hit pause while you do that. We need to know the number of moles in order to find molecules. And that is equal to N. So we're going to be using PV equals NRT. But the problem is R is equal to 0 0.0821 liters atmospheres Kelvin moles. And we got some problems here. None of the stuff's in the right units. All right. So. And let's switch to blue. Volume is 985 milliliters. Can we convert that to liters easily? Divide by 1,000. 0.985 liters. Our temperature is zero. So that's 273, correct? And... Our pressure is 1.0 times 10 to the negative sixth 
millimeters of mercury. Can I convert that to atmospheres? So I want to get to atmospheres. That'll be on top. How many millimeters of mercury in an atmosphere? 760. So take your handy dandy little calculator. And convert that over. One, two, and you get one point three times ten to the negative ninth atmospheres. Now we have everything in the correct format that we need now. So I'm going to shrink it up a little bit so I can solve it. PV equals NRT. Our pressure is 1.3 times 10 to the negative ninth atmospheres times 0 0.985 liters equals N, which we need to find. R is 0 0.8. 0 0.0821 times 273. I'm leaving off the, it's getting a little small, so I left off the units. And then is equal to 1.3 times 10 to the negative ninth ATMs times 0 0.985 liters divided by 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres, Kelvin moles, times 273K. Now, what units cancel out here? ATMs, because if they look the same, you can cancel them. What else? Liters. What else? Kelvin. So you're left with moles. And if you do the math, so 1.3 to the negative ninth times 0.985 equals that divided by all the bottom and I get 5.7 times 10 to the ten, negative tenth moles how do I get from moles to molecules So we got this, and then how many molecules in a mole? Avogadro's number, anybody? 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And rather than try to do all this in your calculator, you can take the 5.7 times the 6.02. Oh, and we did this yesterday. You get 34.314. And then minus 10 plus 23 is what? 13, correct? Then you fix it and it's 3.14 times 10 to the 14th molecules. Yeah, yesterday we were off by a factor of 10, weren't we? Yeah. How'd that work out today? Um, or did I mess up? I think it's still 10 to the 13th. Still 10 to the 13th? Yeah. This should be 11? Yeah. All right. All right. Your class is the only one that did this yesterday. 
All right. Now, um, we're going to look at this one. Calculate the mass of 15 liters of ammonium at 27 degrees C and 900 millimeters. So, I'm going to go down here and write everything down. Volume is 15 liters. We're doing number two here, for those of you that care. And temperature is 27 degrees C. Pressure is 900 millimeters of mercury. And we're looking for mass of NH3. So, in order to find mass, what do we need? We need moles. So, again, we are using PV equals NRT to find this. Problem is, our R is in the wrong units or our pressure is if you want to put it that way liter atmospheres moles kelvin all right so we got to convert this in one atmosphere how many millimeters of mercury seven hundred and sixty so, what's 900 divided by 760? It's going to be one point something, right? What do you got? 1.18. All right. So, you're going to solve for N. So, you're going to drop everything in. 1.18 atmospheres times 15 liters equals N times 0 0.0821 liters, atmospheres, mole, Kelvin. I switched the units around. It's still the same ones. It's just easier to remember it this way. Times 27 degrees C, which is what? What's 27 degrees C? 300 degrees Kelvin. Solve for N, and this is simple algebra that you've had already. So, What'd you get? I got 0 0.72 moles, roughly, of NH3. Now, we want to find the mass of NH3. And mass is molar mass times the number of moles. How do I find the molar mass of NH3? We've done this a lot in here. How many nitrogens? One. How much does nitrogen weigh? 14 grams per mole. How many hydrogens? How much do they weigh? One. So this is 17 grams per mole. We just drop this in. The mass of NH3 now is 17 grams per mole 
times 0 0.72 moles of NH3. Moles cancel. What do you get? Ten point oh eight grams of NH three.